So this is probably not news anybody would like to see regarding the Riot MMO, but we did get an announcement from Greg Street on Twitter today that he is leaving as the executive producer of the Riot MMO. He writes, Hey Internet, thanks for all the support over the past few months while I was AFK. I am now back with some big news to share. I have decided to step down from my role at Riot Games. A combo of personal and professional considerations led me down this path. We experienced some devastating personal losses last year and I want to be closer to my surviving family. But while I was on break, I got to think a lot about my career. Grief has a way of really bringing back into focus what matters the most to you. Still don't recommend it overall though. And after nine years at Riot, it feels like it's time for something new. I said from the beginning that building a League of Legends MMO worthy of you all was going to be a long journey. The most important job I could do as part of that was to build an amazing team. And while I try to stay humble overall, I will brag about this team all day. The MMO is in good hands, and it's the right time to hand over the reins for the next phase. I plan to stay in game development, and I've had a number of exciting opportunities presented to me already. And I will be with you all playing the Riot MMO when it comes out. Hugs, Ghostcrawler. To follow up with the MMO is in good hands comments, Mark Merrill, the co-founder and co-chairman of Riot Games, added this Twitter thread. A little bit ago, Ghostcrawler shared that after nine years with Riot Games, he'll be stepping away to focus on the things that matter most, his family. Thank you again for everything, Greg. I want to take a second to talk a little bit about what this means for the MMO. First, we are still in early development, but have a direction that we're very excited about. We're working hard to deliver an experience that you'll love, but it will still be a very long road to get there. Thanks for being patient with us. We believe in this game and the team working on it. If we look at development as a race, Greg has run an amazing first leg with an incredible team, and I know whoever takes the baton next will be set up for success going forward. In the meantime, we're looking for the world's best and brightest who love MMOs. If you have ever dreamed of helping build what we hope could be the world's next incredible MMO, we'd love to hear from you. I want to highlight one very important thing from these comments. We are still very early in development. This is something I keep saying, and I can't stress this enough. This project still has a long ways to go, and I would be shocked if we see a release anywhere before 2026. Alphas and betas could certainly be sooner than that, but launch is probably a long ways off still. I really don't think they started ramping up production until last year. And with them wanting to essentially aim big for this project and not be a niche project, even with the resources and talented team that they have, it will take a long time before this project sees the light of day. What about the ramifications of Ghostcrawler leaving the project? Well, I can already imagine the fear-mongering that might happen, as always happens on the internet. And I would not be shocked to see a YouTube video titled, The Right MMO is Doomed. But the reality is, people leave jobs all the time. Especially in the gaming industry, the turnover rate is pretty high. I don't have statistics for the average length of time that a game developer stays at a job, but we do have statistics for the average length of time Americans stay in their job across all industries. It is just 4.1 years on average. And we have seen people leave this project already. Candace Thomas left for Supercell last year. Ashes of Creations lead game designer Jeffrey Bard left in 2021, and many people took that as a sign of the end for that game. But it very rarely is the end for most projects. Maybe for some smaller indie projects it could be devastating, but a company the size of Riot can and will move on just fine. That being said, I viewed Ghostcrawler as a nearly perfect fit for the job. He led World of Warcraft from 2008 to 2013, the time when WoW was the most popular. Now I've heard some people say he was the reason WoW started to decline, and I strongly disagree with that. I think that WoW started to decline simply because of the rise of several new genres around that time. MOBAs and later battle royales started to be the next big thing in gaming and people moved out of the genre. And frankly, no game can maintain that level of player base for a long period of time, no matter how good it is. Rising and falling player populations are the norm in any game. So replacing him will not be easy. But Riot can do it and I have a lot of faith in them. They are still the company that continues to produce hits with every single game that they release. They are still operating the way Blizzard did at their peak, and until they prove otherwise, I will continue to believe in them. And I still think that this project has the perfect storm of things lining up behind them to really take over as the new king of MMOs once it launches. The right team at the right time. 
the same exact combination that WoW had in 2004. And I want to finish this discussion with a quick discussion about the jobs listed for the MMO at Riot. Some people mentioned to me that this job position was them hiring for a Ghost Crawler's position. It clearly is not, as that is a senior position, not an executive position. But one thing that does stand out to me is that they're only hiring for one position for the MMO right now. This suggests to me they might be fully in production mode with the staff they are comfortable with at the moment. There at one time was a lot more jobs listed on this page for the MMO. So that is my thoughts about Ghost Crawler leaving Riot. It is sad to see, but it is certainly a part of life. I wish him the absolute best, and I hope he can find a role that fits his life situation much better. With that, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.